Hi guys, my name is Gerald from Trading Waves. Welcome to today's short video. We take a look at dollar CAD, US dollar versus the Canadian dollar today. And we look at what could possibly uh, happen next. In fact, we had a trade setup here. As you can see this blue box here that shows a trade setup where we expected that price would rise as soon as it reaches the blue box, which it did, as you can see, although very sluggishly. But what we're expecting next is a continuation to, to the upside, especially because now price is broken above this peak and that peak there. Um, we're quite convinced that this move to the upside should be expected. On a larger um, time frame or in the bigger scheme of things, what we expect to see is um, a very rapid acceleration to the upside. All right, so we have, if you if you look at that area there, we propose that's one in yellow, that's two in yellow, right? One in yellow ends there, two in yellow ends there, which means that if that's one in green, which is a couple of degrees lower than one in yellow, and if that's two in green, which is also a couple of degrees lower than two in yellow, that, that means, <coughs> excuse me, we'll be expecting three in green, four in green, and five in green to complete one in red. And the one in red, which is the minor degree, this being the minor degree, the minor degree, once it gives us five waves higher, only then will it complete three in yellow. And what that means is that we have a lot more upside that we expect on US dollar Canada, right? And if that is the case, then it means we want to enter as early as, as we have already done, enter as early as possible um, by being able to identify areas which would be areas of entry before they could happen, like we did when we identified this area. So that when the area or price trades into that area, we would already have identified it as a potential zone for a long position in this specific instance, in the instance of US dollar Canada, right? And then we we remain, um, or we, we sort of um, get, our, get our guns ready, aim, aimed at a target, target being this area, so we can shoot once price enters that area there, right? As we have done here. And then you can see up from here, we have a move to the upside. And we expect this to continue until it breaks that peak there to ascertain the next leg higher within three in green. And we normally prefer trading waves three and C because they're usually extended, right? And they're usually stress-free. So we would ascertain that we are indeed within a wave three at that point there. And if one was to enter after price breaks above this, let's say there's a continuation pattern, you would have then, you know, kind of missed out on all these. And this is not a small amount of pips. I mean, from one, three, three, thereabouts to one, four, that's a thousand pips, give or take, um, which we believe we will beg, right? So over time, we'll give an update on this specific instrument maybe in a week or two from now, um, by which time we believe it will have broken above this peak and it will be headed for more upside. We're not only um, forecasting US dollar Canada in this way, we relate it to oil as well and the dollar itself. So there's a bit of correlation that goes into all these analysis that you see on US dollar Canada. All right, so one is interested in knowing how to do these in the way we do it, bringing everything together, nesting, correlation, and a whole lot more. You can then visit our website and join the family. Our website is on the screen currently. All right, and I hope this video will be of some benefit to you. We'll be looking forward to welcoming you on board. Cheers.